Okay, so first of all, congrats on your new book. This is so exciting. Thank you. Yeah, we're super Very excited. excited. I'm an avid reader, so I, I'm excited to read it. Um, so your debut novel, Paradise Island, A Sam and Colby Story. Tell us what the premise of the book is and what fans can expect. Oh, so what's crazy about this book is that it's based on a true story. And uh, about last year, we went to uh, Hawaii with our four high school best friends. And uh, we ended up having like this like crazy experience happen to us. Uh, we don't want to give away like too much, but uh, it happened because we went to the north side of the island, which is like closed off because there was a flood like way back, uh, like like a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, like two years ago. Two years ago. And so it like completely closed like the north side of the island off. But we were able to get there because one of our buddies like knew uh, somebody that actually like lived on the north side. But because it was closed off after we got there, um, even being like as beautiful as it was, like we ended up getting like trapped there, which is, it, it turned into like an incredibly like terrifying experience. It's really like amazing. Cause like we obviously do a lot of paranormal videos and whatnot like that. So those, and those circumstances were looking for something scary. In this instance, we were looking for a nice, you know, fun vacation and it got spun into like this really horrifying experience, unlike anything else we've like done on, on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And do you think you're gonna be wanting to do more books like this based off of other experiences that you both had? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like most, most likely we'll, we'll come out with more. Yeah, right? this was just like absolutely perfect. And because we weren't filming it, we wanted to like, like make this a uh, long story. But this uh, whole process has been absolutely amazing, and the fans like love the, mm -hmm. the, the book like idea because it's something completely out of our you know normal range of like content, and so it kind of gives us like a different way to like express ourselves, especially because you know everything um, we do is like documentation stuff, while this book is like you know em embellished fiction. So yes. uh, even though it is based on a true story, like the last little bit like we get to you know do the real like horror scary stuff right that's like you know great yeah you, you when you read the book you'll understand but uh <laughs> some stuff that probably wouldn't happen and how did the idea for writing a book come up because i know a lot of fans are used to seeing you both like on your youtube and social media and this is um a new way for fans to connect with you how did you come up with that idea I think we've been trying to explore other ways just to get out of the same lane. Uh, we really want to get like different avenues, especially like, like you're saying, like some of our fans are readers and like they really enjoy those stories and stuff. And, you know, just doing these same styled YouTube videos forever, you know, I think it's really good to branch out and try new things. So yeah, mm -hmm. we're looking at a bunch of different uh, traditional media styles and the book was just like the best fit for this. Right. One. Plus like the story that actually happened in real life was so long that we thought that even if we try to like recreate it or something and try to like film it, it wouldn't make sense. So we wanted to be like uh, put into like a longer like form of content. Mm -hmm. And then what was the writing process for you like? I, I feel like this would take such a long time. Were you both kind of working together or doing different chapters or what was that kind of like for you both? Yeah, so because it was based on true story, it was really uh, easy to regurgitate the first like three quarters of the book. And so we worked with this um, other author named Gabby Trina and she was amazing. So like, good. Such a good help. So basically what we did is we went back and forth with her we told her the whole story and then what, yeah, we just have revisions back and forth with her. She like helped us write the whole thing. Obviously like we're not professional writers and it wouldn't no, have come suck. out nearly as good without uh, her help. Yeah, we needed her. <laughs> <laughs> and then how long were you working on the book from like start to finish? Um, I feel like people would be interested to learn about that kind of process. We start like was the a month after. Yeah, like we had the call for this book like the second we left Hawaii, we were saying this needs to be a book because mm -hmm. of how insane it was. So literally, I guess that was May of 2019. So over a year and a half process. It's a, it was a very long, a long time. Yeah, a long whole like process through like writing and getting the publisher stuff and everything ready. But um, 
it was fun. You know, it's like working on something for such a long time. You're like become really attached to it and very proud of it. So we're so excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. This might be like the longest piece of content we've ever worked on. If yeah. you think about it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and you guys have been posting amazing content on your YouTube page, especially now, like Halloween season, most recently with Kian and JC. What was it like working with them on that video? Oh, they suck. Like, <laughs> that's probably like the worst collab we've ever had, like in our entire life. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what's crazy and like, uh, I've said this so many times, like before in like past videos and stuff like this, but uh, like the reason we started YouTube in the first place is because we saw Kian and JC. Uh, like as like 16 year old kids like uh, like doing their own thing on YouTube so it's like crazy full circle how like everything like came to be and um, yeah it was super fun uh, we ended up going up to uh, Montana which was horribly cold at this like season but it was it was awesome it was super cool and we have like a lot of like paranormal stuff that ended up happening yeah. And you've been doing a lot of collabs lately with other creators. Who's one influencer you haven't had the chance to collab with yet that you'd like to? James Charles. Yeah. <laughs> it's silly. Um, uh, there's a lot. Yeah. We, I don't know. Yeah, I would say like we, we've called out or uh, a couple of our uh, collaborators have called out James Charles in the videos. We'd you know, love to like collab with him, uh, Emma Chamberlain, yes. uh, anyone from like the FaZe Clan, we're, we're uh, getting closer with them. And so that'd be really cool to like do a video with them as well. That would be iconic. I just saw another YouTuber, they did like an impression of James Charles doing the Blair Witch Project. So I think that would be really fun. <laughs> so I saw you go to the Winchester house, which I've heard is like super scary. They even based like a whole movie on it. What was your experience like there? Was it as scary as it's hyped up to be? It was definitely like way bigger and more complex than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely it was haunted, but what I didn't realize what was going to be uh, so crazy is the architecture. Like yes. I've been wanting to go to this place for a couple of years just because, you know, it's so, so famous as like the largest haunted house in the world. Um, and when we got there, it was like, you could literally get lost. I thought that was like a, jo a joke, but it, the complex is such a huge, it's like, a maze. He's, yeah, it's it's just a labyrinth of architecture, and it's just like it gets you wondering whether or not it's like truly haunted. Just why did this happen? That yeah. that mystery in itself was like captivating. The story is the best part. And with Halloween right around the corner, do you have any upcoming videos planned that you want to tease? Yeah, Halloween is our main season. It's like, like the, a Super this Bowl is season. So busy right now, but yeah, we have um. We have the rest of <clears throat> we have the rest of uh, the Keen and JC collabs, which are crazy. Mm -hmm. And there is like an abandoned school video coming up with them. That's like one of the most anxiety-inducing videos we've done in two years. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. yeah. We put our, like our uh, not even like exaggerating here, but like we put our lives on the line, like in the last like part of like the Keen and JC series. And so like it gets pretty intense. <laughs> Wow, that sounds that, that sounds very exciting. Um, and looking back at your past videos, what's the scariest experience you've had? Whew. Mm. Whew. Well, I guess there's a <laughs> there, there's a difference between I guess paranormal scary and danger scary. Yeah. There's been a lot of run-ins with like other people at locations that we thought like our actual lives would be at risk. And then I think one of the scariest moments for me, I think was uh, this, this like, uh, what was it called? Uh, Queen Mary's Castle in Scotland, because we did a full on say, uh, like a seance out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and like, like this castle was way off the beaten path. Like yeah. there's no one gonna be there. And then it like completely worked. And we have a whole video about like this seance and you know, getting in contact with things. And it literally, mm. like, I think about that all the time. It, like, yeah. Gives me chills. And it was an, an actual castle. Like, apparently, uh, it was Scotland, right? Yes. Yeah, Scotland. yeah. Apparently, in Scotland, you can, like, rent Airbnb castles. <laughs> it was like, what? Which was amazing. I had no idea. But uh, it was it was awesome. It was like, what, five stories? Like, yeah. Whoo! Just to ourselves out in the middle of the forest. It's crazy. 